Hey guys, welcome back to Max Cars Dawn of War Unification. Do I have a 3v3 for you on the map Iriden, I think it's called? Uh, the snowy uh, moon map from the campaign. We have um, Kukai playing Imperial Guard with his ally, uh, which I cannot uh, read here but because it's Russian text, but I think it translates to Where are my teeth? playing uh, Chaos Demons and his last ally War Thunder playing the Dark Angels. They, their opponents are, I hope this is nothing too bad, Kurka up. Kasia playing a thousand suns with Vitoft, Kvitoft, whatever as Chaos and last but not least Wildcard playing as Tau Empire, I think. Um, the thousand suns was random here, so let's see how it goes. Um, we will stick to Kukai's point of view. Kukai, uh, just for you, which uh, may or may not know about him, he is, I think, as uh, recording this um, number one on the unification letter, so he is someone to. Uh, yeah, to uh, <laughs> take notice of. So I hope this is an uh, action-packed uh, 3v3. I, the last 3v3 I cast was very action-packed on a very, how should I say, um, linear map. And this is more open, so we see probably more um, open engagements. So for Imperial Guard, we see a more or less standard two Guardsmen, uh, Imper um, Infantry Control, Plasma Generator into a Command Squad. Very, very standard. For lesser demons, uh, for, for the chaos demons, we see uh, uh, warp signatures into horrors. Not sure why he would uh, spawn these horrors right in his base, to be honest. Um, probably he's reinforcing them and putting them back in the portal, maybe. Uh, getting his points up, but not building them yet. A um, little slow on this part. And for Dark Angels, I think we see a, a smart scouts, right? One, two, three. It's not as good as it uh, used to be, so it's uh, three squads of scouts for now. Gives you a fast map control, but these guys do not hit as hard as they used to be, and they cost still the same, so uh, not the, the most, uh, not the best opener, I would say. Thousand Suns going for demons, it seems. Uh, no demons on the field yet. Uh, just one, two, three builders, I guess. And a uh, source slot going for summoning, so we see the first. Um, engagement soonish and for chaos we get the chaos temple and nothing else yet probably a fast tech or am i blind it's probably blind i guess and for the time empire we see a barracks in two what did you go for a lot of stealth mean uh, and tau commander and a lot of um stealth suits i suppose little engagement here on the on the uh, side of the uh, Dark Angels, we will probably stick to the enemy view just to see the uh, stealth suits here. So, a demon is summoned, but we have a, a, a actually a tech marine here from the Dark Angels. We have um, a demon lord from the uh, ally of uh, the Dark Angels player here. And keeps, uh, keeps dragging some uh, pink horrors that will lose a morale very soonish. But yeah, this should be enough to hold this on. Getting some uh, shotguns, but the shotguns will not help you a lot against against the demon spawn because the demon spawn has a lot of knot back and will not care about your pesky pesky shotguns here. But yeah, we have another engagement on the south side which is just a Tau commander, some uh, guardsmen and a command squad killing uh, cultists and probably trying to deny this uh, listening post here which is not completed yet. On the middle we have quite a lot of points being taken by the thousand suns and the Tau empire as you would suggest. This attack um, was defended is the uh, chaos uh, the source of lord is still alive tech servitor <laughs> tries does he focus forces attack on this tech servitor i'm not sure imperial guard taking back the strategic point right away and we have another engagement here now the some furies fully reinforced furies are deep striking in these um these furies two squads actually um are not very strong on their own but they have debuff passives which they apply with the melee attacks tau commander not uh, having a a uh, trap here because a trap would be here quite good. Kukai probably stay in something like back or come back, <laughs> and <laughs> his ally uh, follows because he saw some firewalls. Two squads of firewalls, hopefully not reinforcing, but going for a faster tier two. Yes, yes, nice to see it. Never ever reinforce the firewalls if you do not have to because they're so expensive. They cost. 60, 70 requisition, so it's better to get just another squad, which also costs you 70 requisition per squad, and you can migrate. Tier 2 rush for Chaos Marines into the Thorn Princess. Where are the iconoclasts? Is the question. 
not up yet. Probably summons them in uh, any second here. Space Marines, Space Marines are with the dead, they are the Iconoclast uh, getting Sisters of Slaughter here. So these uh, both should be able to deal quite a lot of damage. They also have the Thousand Suns um, Saucer Lord here as well in the mix. So quite a lot of damage um, being put down here, summoning a <laughs> Siege uh, spawn and having the Tau Commander. So this is more or less the Commander hit squad you could think of. The, the Thousand Suns Commander, the, uh, the, the, the Thorn Princess, the uh, Tau Commander, a lot of uh, Commander units. But here we have now these uh, Scout Marines moving in, knocking back these Fire Warriors, but yeah, just walking by and getting killed, I guess. Um, the Pink Horror is here and the Imperial Guard trying to hold here. Is this thing getting upgraded? It is, so if they can hold, off for, hold on for long enough, they can more or less hold this point here, I, I'm not sure. Ah, there was some trickery from the Source Lord, I guess, or from the Iconoclast, I'm not sure. The, another <laughs> the IG Command Squad here trying to, to hold the position, but yeah, the Thorn Princess is taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, the Demon Lord as well trying to fend off this scene spawn. What do we have here? More Guardsmen. <laughs> One horror getting flinged around the map um, by this uh, scene, uh, this, this, this um, spawn here. We have now Rhino Transport for the Dark Angels, I guess. Yes. So these uh, things will help to um, fend off the enemy here. We also have now a Piranha added. The Piranha probably getting his uh, its a Fusion Blaster to uh, fend off these vehicles, I suppose. Other than that, we have two squads of fire warriors. Are they tier two yet? I think they are. They could get their shot three leaders if if need be. The Thorn Prince is still alive. Um, I do not see the Iconoclast, to be honest. Are they... Were they killed? On this side, we have quite the fortified position for the Imperial Guard getting uh, chimeras out. Probably need to upgrade the listening post as well to fortify this position even more. Um, these random transports now getting hit by the stealth suit, so they need to move back. Um, there are the Iconoclasts. Are they, were they summoned again? Uh, maybe they are. Full squad of Thousand Suns here trying to hit as well. Do they have their upgrades? Yes, the Inferno Bolt for anti-infantry bonuses. And some more engagements over here. So I, I'm, I'm really not focusing on the strategy of these guys because it's a 3-3. I'm focusing on the action in the battles. Let's see how, how it goes. We have the <laughs> Furies taking down these Iconoclasts, I guess. The Thorn Prince is still standing here. Is she infiltrated? Maybe she, she has an ability, maybe, where she can infiltrate. Um, I'm really not sure. Um, I, I know she has multiple abilities, but I forget on a regular basis what they do. When the transport here getting focused down, we have a Dreadnought with um, the good old Plasma Cannon here, focusing down on a single model. Sadly, should focus down on this aspiring sorcerer and his brutal marines and he does big hit on those dealing a lot of damage killing a lot of models we have now a hell talents two squad of hell talents trying to focus down these uh, dreadnought i suppose they can now fire their last cans down we have fire warriors on this side more stealth suits jumping out the furies dying left and right on this side the guardsmen trying to hold the line but losing their morale we have now chimeras three chimeras here more being built i guess Horrors should be very vital and uh, killing these hell talents. I suppose they should focus fire them. They, there's a scene spawn still right in the mix, drawing the attention, focusing down or uh, let's say tying the up these dreadnought, which would be absolutely mayhem dealing uh, damage against these horrors, which they are now. These are horrors from the chaos uh, from the thousand suns. They are team striking and dealing a lot of damage to all the vehicles, probably killing this uh, turret uh, in a second or two as well. We ha now have. <laughs> Control demon demonic entity as soon as you see it you need to focus it down it only has 250 um, health now we have a basilisk in the world worst position for a basilisk to be in getting immediately jumped upon by stealth suits but these stealth suits were a little over eager i would say Did another dreadnought or no it's still the same dreadnought with plus mechanic still alive more chimeras being built this uh basilisk being repaired the hell talents focusing down this thing, uh, the, this um, turret here, the turret had a missile launcher attachment, so dealing some damage back. But now the horrors can finally fight at these hell talents, so they fight back. Guardsmen going in melee combat with these horrors, punching them with the bayonets, kicking them in the face, trying to hold their own, and they will be 
able to. They do it for the Emperor, they do it to keep the uh, vehicle safe. And now these uh, guys will get killed, probably spawning some blue horrors in the process, I would assume. You cannot move forward really because there are these uh, stealth suits, but the Imperial Guard hold position as they like. Fire team support being from the low ground, so we know that they have the tier 2 upgrade already getting more economy upgrades. Yeah, but Imperial Guard is holding on. I, I'm not looking through the economy because, yeah, we will see that they have a lot of different economies and uh, we cannot add them up as quickly. We have Tactical Resonance, so it, it's a um, battle company for the Dark Angels. We have no larger... No, there, there it is. Uh, Created Demon Portal tier 2, of course, for um, Imperial Guard getting another Tech Marine jumped in here, okay. And a Labrian. So we have now some chapter veterans for the Dark Angels beginning immediately to repair the Stratton, which is nice. More economy upgrades for the Tau Empire. Not sure if they have it, what it takes right now. A little stalemate here. Whoa, but we have a decimator tier 3 um, for Chaos here as well. We have obliterators, we have a decimator. Probably some more stuff on the way. We have now. Two Rubik Marines and a Rhino Dreadnought probably trying to uh, load in and spawning an attack on the enemy side. We have the Decimator, as I said, um, Obliterators, Demon Prince summoning as well. So we have more or less soonish the full might of Tier 3 Chaos on the field, which is wow. Tier 3 Chaos, I, I tell you, is really uh, strong. They could also get the Possessed Squad, the Chosen, the Terminators, Mutilators. So you have, yeah, the world is your oyster. We have now a, an attack from the Chaos and Thousand Suns, Practical Scoven. On this side we have some infiltrated um, units now from the uh, um, Dark Angels. They can infiltrate with their uh, veterans, interestingly enough. And they have multi melters and plasma guns. This is a tactical veteran with plasma cannons. I didn't know they can get the plasma cannons. Interesting. Deep strike in from the Pink Horrors and some Fiends of Solanesh. The Fiends of Solanesh are, I think, probably good against buildings. Um, not so good against vehicles, but they will do. This Helltown trying to um, go into space, but not being able to. And yeah, now trying to focus down some uh, generators here. So need to be taken down immediately. This um, Helltown does quite a lot of damage against buildings. Ah, the fiends are probably meant to tie down these obliterators, but yeah, with very low effect obliterators, if they haven't changed it from vanilla, have absolutely piss poor melee attack damage. So. If you can tie them down in melee, this is the way to go. We have even some lesser blood letters now doing exactly what I say. So we have some demon on demon action and these lesser blood letters will me win melee against the obliterators all day long, I suppose. On this side we had a little offense maybe of the Tau, uh, of the Imperial Guard, but they're still more or less holding the position, fortifying, getting more points. Um, and on this side we have now the Rurik Marines popping out of their Rhino, but getting greeted by a plasma cannon fire and some... Um, Multimeters. The practical scoven are, um, how should I say, vehicle armor, so they are d dealing, uh, getting extra damage from this multimelter here. Uh, not a charge from the Imperial Guard, but the other way around, the enemy charging into Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard is tier 3, you see it on the Priest Fanaticism upgrade. We have Preachers, we have now a, uh, what is it called, strafing run here as well. <laughs> Command Squad getting uh, hit by its, uh, itself. Two Basilisks. Two basilis out now, a um, bolter turret with these auto cannon on top. An engagement on this side, the decimator is still alive. I remember the beta days where it was um, when it uh, doesn't, could not aim for a target, it would uh, fling around and dance into, I don't know, some techno. Now getting into melee combat with the Horus, which it should because this Horus will uh, do quite a lot of damage on the side. We have now an absolutely crater chaos spawn from, from uh, Chaos Demons, it is called. Um, it is only available for undivided and being quite big, but um, yeah, <laughs> other than that, not dealing a lot of damage, I think. Oh, uh, I'm surprised here. Another deep strike. What is deep strike in here? Give me something big. Oh, it's flesh hounds. Flesh hounds are, I'm not sure, it's, are they good against infantry here? Um, it's not the world eater flesh hounds. We have the Bobonian guard on the field. Here, Matthew the Frenchie. There you have it. The Bobonian guard hitting the field for Imperial Guard. So they have this activated, and these guys are absolute uh, bonkers in all all forms they can get more they couldn't cannot get a squad leader but they can get long last rifles and missile launchers and these missile launchers have this nice little arc on them so they will look pretty uh, fine i think 
a lot of Camaro standing in the middle, Decimator getting focused down by this greater chaos spawn. We have now the, the Demon Prince on the field, so this is um, maybe a turning point. We have this AoE damage thingy from the, uh, this, this power sword thingy from the um, Chaos Demon Lord here, Demon Lord, but yeah, the Demon Prince is now greeted by another Greater Demon House, a Demon, what is it called? Greater, it's all demons, Greater Chaos Spawn, Jesus, all these names. Demon Prince and Decimator doubling down in melee, so it's demons and chaos and chaos action. This <laughs> Chaos Spawn running away, these uh, veterans proving to be very effective um, in, in here, I have to say. On this side we have a little attack, where are the Bobonian Guard? We need to keep a big eye on them because um, Matthew will like to see them in action. They have uh, gotten a priest attached to them, which is absolutely what they have to have because they are such a good unit. Um, doubling down on their effectiveness with the priest is very much, um, uh, how should I say, recommended. These Rubik Marines still alive or replaced, I'm not sure. Human Prince walking away. Chimeras, is there anything built additional to that? We have Air Command. Getting a Vendetta Heavy Gunship. Oh, this is really nice as well. Tier 3 anti uh, tank counter, you could think of. Have now Vindica Assassin to uh, help spawn, uh, uh, spot enemies. What we have here, the, the, the Rhino getting. <laughs> the Rubik Marines getting out of the Rhino, getting greeted by a hell of a lot of plasma and melter gun fire. Jesus, they didn't saw the infiltrated, I guess. They did only saw these uh, horrors and now look at them go down. I'm not sure if they have the upgrades. I, it looks uh, like they do not have because all these plasma guns do absurd damage. This would be, uh, both would be true. The two Rubik Dreadnoughts uh, moving around with their nice sound. Can we hear it? You can hear it and they move around like uh, like old uh, Rubik's uh, like Dreadnoughts as they do. The Boyan Guard getting uh, in combat here just firing away their um, uh, their their weapon here but the Preachers knocking them um, left and right but yeah, they do quite a lot of damage. Um, I'm not sure if they have the, uh, they do not have any weapon upgrades. They are just um, using their standard weapons, absolutely mincing every tau they can can see. Decimator trying to have a part of it now. Um, <laughs> friendly fire on the artillery unit, and now they, now they would need their crack missile launchers. I would suppose the missile launchers to crack down this uh, decimator here. We do not have any anti vehicles other than that, I suppose. Melee action. Um, these uh, drones getting into melee and exploding against these performing guards, so they're jumping all over the field. We have a tech marine for chaos, but yeah, just a pure concentrated fire of last cannons, multi lasers, and these MPs of the um, performing guard killing this decimator here, going down with a explosion. What do we have here in the middle? There's a hell talon of the thousand suns floating around. We even keep of secrets now, so this is from yeah from the chaos demon. So these are now. Tier 4, yes, tier 4, having this one. Uh, the Keep of Secrets, uh, having used a lower ability probably to um, make them friendly, I guess? No, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Vitoft, Vitoft. Ah, it's from the Chaos player actually. Oh, so many Chaos units around, I, I forgot what <laughs> which unit does what. We have the, the Zorn Princess here. What is this explosion? Oh my god, we have a Feral Titan from the Chaos Player. The Chaos Player going tier 4 and also getting the Titans now out. So, he <laughs> actual Titan as well as the Keeper of Secrets. So a lot of big units on the field, even the, the Chaos Prince. So he goes down for big units and more big units and another big unit, I suppose. Now these Imperial Guard looking mighty, mighty uh, weak again. What are they going for? They have quite a lot of economy. The Vendetta Heavy Gunship it got killed now it's here so it would be quite lethal against um, I suppose this Titan here but we have also Barracuda now hitting the field a lot of float probably from every player around because this is <laughs> such a big and messy game a predator out for a thousand suns now as well getting more hell talents no tier 4 units yet so yeah we have quite a force here chaos predator with uh, bulk tight weaponry so we have another really nice tier 4 weapon addition to this uh, very potent hit squad. So now is the question, can they can they kind of hold this position or not? What is Keep Strike here from the Chaos? It's <laughs> some lesser blood... <laughs> some, let's say, token lesser blood letters to uh, try to uh, poke at these <laughs> with their little axes here. So there's no way they can hold this. But yeah, this is now tier 4 for um, Imperial Guard. So 
what do they what can they do they get more battle armor they are now tier 4 getting them another mechanized command because they ne need some population i guess but yeah their hq is now getting here attacked the blood source the allied blood source this is from the chaos demon variety so we have a chaos demon blood source versus a chaos marine keeper of secrets this keeper of secrets will probably getting killed here but, but the crater law is focus forcing these guys to attack each other the camera is trying to focus down this this big um, titan here a second predator are, is out with work type revenue so this um, HQ does it live long enough I'm not sure the Bobonian guard standing mighty strong firing against it against, uh, against this titan keeper of secret going down in the process what do we have here tech priest engines here uh, with a lot of thingies around probably is doing some uh, getting some bonuses from this. I'm not sure why what bonus this is. I'm totally honest. Vulture heavy gunship taking down one predator, focusing down on the second predator, and we have uh, Vortiga. What is it called? Um, Vortigan Trackers, the Titan for the Dark Angels. T1 Titan versus T1 Titan, getting his second melee uh, weapon here, the Reaper Chainsaw. We have now Titan on Titan action. So you will see the Vortiga Trackers does not have a shield, but has crap ton of health. Um, not much actually as, as the Feral Titan, but uh, probably packs more punch this Vendetta Heavy Gunship uh, helping as well as well as the Bloodthirst of Corn. Wow, this is uh, Titan on Titan action. This heavy Vendetta Heavy Gunship going uh, back to base now. These guys are trying to focus down this um, Feral Titan. Passing block by the Bloodthirst so they both can start hitting this guy in the neck. Um, Demon Rust being as produced we have another thing getting in here like a second lot of change you can get a multiple um, crater demons for chaos demons but the production time getting increased by quite a lot now we have the used the slow ability slowing time but it seems to affect his ally as well even more so than this feral titan like which is funny it slows down enemy units around or it should enemy and ally units even forcing uh, uh, <laughs> some stun grenades used by the Bobonian guards stunning their own units as well. But it's okay. We have here now an elite hit squad of Ogrins, Bobonian guard, Vendetta gunship and still alive the Imperial guard um, command squad. Vindica assassin on the field. We have also Lehman Russ here holding the line on this side getting scanned and getting killed these uh, uh, stealth suits here. So this looks like a win for um, <coughs> for the team, the northern team of uh, Kukai, uh, the Imperial Guard, Chaos Demons and Dark Angels because we still have this Titan getting followed by another Titan, this single lesser blood that are still <laughs> helping inside another Chaos um, that the, uh, how should I say, the blood are getting killed by the Keeper of Secrets again but yeah, we had some Titan on Titan action, we had some Bobonian Guards, tier 3 action, tier 4 action from a lot of players here so um, yeah, on this side there was even oh, I didn't even caught this land with the RS and the Predator uh, Annihilator um, with Astra Ale as well. So we had all the might of the uh, um, battle company for the Dark Angels as well. So um, sadly I couldn't um, catch all the. Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> That's a really nice uh, gears here. I'm um, sorry, but a really nice game. I, I'm sorry that I couldn't catch everything because there was so much going on all the time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one a little less on the tactical side and more on the action side here. So yeah, as usual, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.